Bull's getting bit. It is definitely getting bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was a like. Down him. Oh, that's a bigger fish. That might be a bigger fish. What is going on guys? Back out here with another video. Y'all today, I am on new water. Uh, I've never fished this far south in Kansas, uh, which that says a lot with how much I fished in my day. But fishing Harvey County East Lake, gonna target some channels today. Uh, you already haven't noticed, it's a little breezy out here today, so I'm gonna apologize for any wind noise that might affect my audio. But I got frozen shad for bait. Gonna be running two Carolina rigs, one with a float on it, otherwise known as Santee Cooper rig. Then the other, I'm gonna throw a double hook rig. Gonna be fishing a windblown mud flat today, uh, kind of ice out conditions. Uh, usually this time of year, once the ice thaws, these mud flats warm up and the really everything usually runs to there. The bait runs there, which means the big fish are gonna run there to eat them. And I'm gonna throw my baits out there and see what I can get into. So enough of me talking, let's get after it. I just want one fish. This is getting ridiculous. You're gonna go back, I promise. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, them rocks. That's a decent little channel. That's a decent little channel. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. We caught a fish on a new lake. But he swallowed it too, yep. Little baby channel. Yeah, I might be able to save that. Of course, I left my pliers in my chair. All right, fish, I will be back for you. All right, y'all, first fish of the day little eater size channel i'm not keeping any today uh got a little family get together to go to after this but 
He'd make for nice uh, fish tacos. But let's get him back. All right, dude. Oh, that's soft. Appreciate you. Swim away. Oh, there's a rock. Oh, no, go the other way. Oh, there's another rock. No, 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 yeah, yeah. You're going shallow, bud. You're going, he'll figure it out. At this point, he's got to figure it. Dude, I can't walk out there. You got to go the other way. Go the other way. Go. Come on. Skedaddle. Go. Other way. There you go. That way. All right. He figured it out. I'm stuck in the water. Cool. So we got one. I forgot my towel. That's nice. Thank you, pants. All right. I'm going to get another hook on, get rebaited, and let's try to get another one. All right, guys. Got another piece of shad on. This left rod's been getting hit again. Get on this side so I can miss that tree. Perfect. Perfect. It's actually a little deeper over there. Oh, that was quick. That already got hit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That one's getting hit. This one's getting hit. I think I found the spot. All right, fish, I'm gonna put you back. I think he hit it while I put it down. This spot is gonna be a death of me here in a sec. All right, I am gonna check the baits on this one. I have plenty of bait for today, so. I got one of them. They're working on the other. All right, let's get some more bait on. Come on. That was a better bite. So I know if y'all see, I put my rod tip down. This is a, got him. This is effective in the wind. Uh, takes out the wind play in the rod and line. So I'm able to sense the bite a little better, as you can see. But next time you're fishing in heavy wind, put that rod tip down. Might help you catch a few more fish. Look. A good little fish. Please don't tell me he swallowed it. Okay, he did. Cool. Well, we caught two. That means it wasn't a fluke. Oh, this fish is cold. It wasn't a fluke. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh no. <sighs> Come on, yeah. Oh, please, the camera didn't catch that. Okay, the camera caught that. 
All right, y'all, there's another little eater channel. Uh, kinda wish I was keeping now. I would have made quick work of these. It would've been my lunch for the week, but let's go on and get them back. All right, little square dude. I need you for a YouTube short. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Go. Go that way. God. <laughs> well, he hit a rock. The way out. Go. Well, let's get rebaited and try to get another one. Y'all, so today, I don't know if I mentioned it at the start of the video, but I'm fishing a windblown mud flat on the north end of the lake. Now, why did I choose that? I chose it because in the early spring, late winter, the north side of the lake is always going to be the first to thaw. So the fish are going to run up here because that's where the bait is going to go. So the water's warmer. Uh, not only that, mud, it's going to heat up pretty quick. Uh, like a lot of different crustaceans and will start to come up out of the ground. The bait fish will go up there and eat. And then the bigger fish and cats will eat both of those. So I knew coming out here being the first time I fished Harvey County East, uh, I knew this is where I was gonna start. If not, was where I was gonna finish. Uh, I drove around the south end of the lake, but I just knew try the, try the north end of the lake first. I kind of didn't know I was gonna get bit, but it's just out of instinct and fishing for a while. Now I knew this was where to start. So guys, this time of year, if you're wanting to catch ice out cats, or find ice out cats anyway, try the north half of your local lake, uh, especially if it's a big mud flat. Uh, you're probably gonna catch more cats. You gonna do it again? You gonna do it again? He hit it. He kissed it. Or if they're down there playing with a rattle. There he is. Pecking at it. And of course this one's getting hit. Alright, this is interesting. All right, I'm getting bit on two different rods right now. This is, just look at me right now. That one needs to be reeled down. Hopefully he swallowed this one. Come on. We're gonna try to get two fish at once here. Chaos. We got chaos going on. I reel this one up because it's still getting bit. Technicality. Him and the rod holder. Please don't come off. Now that is talent, sports fans. That is talent. What is it? The hell is that? No effing way i haven't caught one of these in so long that's what's down there biting <laughs> that's a bullhead that is awesome that's a yellow bullhead that's what's probably down there dink tapping me to hail now i do not want to get my fingers in their mouth because they do bite hard 
Oh, I wish I was keeping. These things taste amazing. Look at them, all cute and cuddly. Ah, stuck in the mud. All right, is this thing on? All right, y'all, surprise catch of the day. A yellow bullhead. I wonder if that's what's been down there the whole time. Dink tapping me to death, or these little bullheads. That is awesome. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. All right, let's let him go. Swim away, little buddy. No, don't swim shallow. There you go. No, go the other way. He's confused. He's confusion. Oh, he's swimming in circles. All right, I think he figured, yeah, he figured it out. Okay. <laughs> that has absolutely made my day now. <sighs> oh, that's deep. A yellow bullhead of all the things. I guarantee that is what's been down there absolutely dink tapping me to death. I wonder if that one took my bait or if he's on. Fish might be on. That rod don't look right. Thumb don't look right. Okay, there's nothing on it. It just didn't look right. Yeah, he was down there mauling it. Well, throw both these back out there. I haven't caught a yellow bullhead in years, let alone seen one. Precision casting. Okay, that one wasn't as far as I would have liked. Hopefully it gets a bit. All right, y'all, let's get back to fishing. God. Bringing it towards me. Just take it. He definitely dropped this. This one's still messing with it. Did he finally get me? I think he finally got me. Ooh. Oh, is this a fish? 
he is, he swallowed it. It is a fish. What is it? Is it in there, bullhead? It is, he swallowed it. No? It is a dinky channel. Oh my god. This is a dinky channel. That's what's down there biting. That is a small channel. That's not even front camera worthy channel. I know I showed the bullhead, but that's not. Okay, so my camera died, so now we are going to show it on a big camera. There it is. Little dinky channel. Let him go. All right, let me get some more bait and new battery in the chest cam, and we'll get back out there. That pole's getting bit. It is definitely getting bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was a like. Down him. Oh, that's a bigger fish. That might be a bigger fish. That might be a bigger one. It is a bigger one. Oh my God. <laughs> the double hook rig, baby. <laughs> On the double hook rig. Did I snag him? Please, I didn't snag him. He's definitely a bigger fish. Oh no, he's in the mouth. He's just a rolling. Oh, and he's dark. That is the big one of the day. Oh, wait, what the hell? Why does he look all weird? Oh, Oh, what is going on with this fish? I'm just confusion. He's all like dwarf aside, dwarf sized dwarf. I don't give myself a brain aneurysm I'm trying to sound that one out, but he's dinky. Oh, and he was hooked good. Oh, dude, you weren't coming off. There we go. Look at this fish. He's like dwarf. He's got a dark tail. Look at this fish, y'all. He's like, he's got the head of like a two and a half, three pounder, but the body, I don't even know. <laughs> Look at him, he's just, he's weird looking. But anyway, let's get him back. He's all weird. The back looks like he's broken. Just let him go. Drop my pliers. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. There you go. Get your butt that way. Go left. Lefter. Make me walk out here. There you go. Gosh. You gotta sound it out for these catfish sometimes. Oh, that was a surprise. What the heck was that thing? Yeah, well, let me get some more bait cut up and try to get one more before the day's over. All right, y'all, I think that's gonna do it for me today. Uh, this time of year, as soon as the ice melts, it's a great time to get out, catch some channels blues the occasional flathead even bullheads that bullhead catch was quite a surprise for me i think the last time i caught one was like five six years ago but uh as soon as the ice melts uh usually on the north half of the lake those cats will run up on the mud flats it's where all the bait is because it, that water is warming up the quickest uh, just get a line out there usually ready to hit anything today. I was using shad, but they could have hit shrimp worms Skipjack uh, cut up bluegill hot dogs. They could have hit anything today, honestly uh, But if you haven't already hit the like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button hit that bell icon It'll notify you whenever I post videos and uh, be sure to check out my YouTube shorts uh, it'll show highlights from fishing trips also today's fishing trip 
and just if I don't get enough to make a video, I usually post to there. But and y'all to end it, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, getting me to, I think we're at almost 650 subscribers now. I want to thank all of you for uh, watching. <laughs> It's crazy to think there's 650 people who like watching me fish. But I uh, hope y'all have an amazing year. And I hope it brings y'all prosperity. And always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.